Okay, g'day all. Welcome to another video. I just gotta get comfortable. There we go. Gosh, it's hot. It's hot for spring. <laughs> um, okay, so today I wanted to answer a question that I was sent. So I get a, a bunch of really good questions from uh, viewers of my videos, and I love reading them, I really do, but uh, sometimes I get lost in Google's little I my Google <laughs> message stream thing. Um, Google just assumes that I've read them and it just wipes them so I never see them again. So if I've forgotten to answer your uh, question, sorry about that, hopefully uh, another viewer will get on and answer it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the question that I wanted to answer today was a really, really good question and it's one that I don't think there's a lot of demonstrations uh, about online. So I thought I might just demonstrate one way that I deal with this particular problem. So. Yeah, just a little disclaimer at the start. This is just the way that I do things, and, you know, I'm far from perfect. I make mistakes all the time. <laughs> Hopefully I won't make any today, though. This is going to be unreal. Okay, so the question is, how do I reuse headers? Uh, that was the original question, but I think I think we can extend that to basically, how do I reuse uh, source code in, uh, in C++ and Visual Studio? So that's what we're going to do. I've got here a little program called Excellent Game, and if I just add a new item and main, we'll have a bit of a demonstration first of uh, the problem. Okay, so include IO stream uh, using name space std into main. I'm just going to do a little uh, console app, but we're going to pretend that it's uh, a graphics engine. Okay, so we're making a game here. We might have um, a renderer in our game. Yeah, maybe we're using DirectX or uh, OpenGL or something. Our game might have a renderer. It might have graphics. So we'll add renderer.h. Uh, renderer.h. And I might just pragma once. Oh, mate, just get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Um, okay, so for for our for our little get out of here for our little demonstration renderer, <laughs> we might just have one function. I'll call it draw an A, uh, just like that. And I might also add a C plus plus file for renderer. So it's not actually a, a class this uh, renderer, but you know, in in reality, it will be. So include and renderer.h. In reality, you'd probably put this renderer into uh, its own class. And it'd be very, very complicated too. The, the graphics rendering um, classes are you know, some of the most complicated classes in the entire game. Uh, you also got AI and things like that to deal with. But yeah, I think, I think the renderer itself will be right up there as the most complicated class. Thousands of lines of code. Anyway, we might just, <laughs> we might just do that. So draw an A just writes an A to the screen. Uh, I might also um, include IO. Well, you can't. <laughs> include IO stream and using namespace std. Okay, so there's our game with its little renderer, and we'll just call that function in the main method and pretend like we've got a, a, a program. If I just put a breakpoint there, we should be right as rain. Let's have a look. It should just write an A to the screen. Yeah, there you go, an A. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Good renderer. Okay, so we finish making our game, excellent game one, um, and we upload it to the store, and it's getting 500 million downloads every minute or every two days, and it's unreal, and we're very, very surprised and excited. What you might start to do is think, gosh, I should probably make another game. This is going to be unreal. I'm going to make excellent game two. So you'll come over here to Excellent Game 2. This is a brand new project, and I'm going to add main to this. Add a new item, and I'll call it main.cpp. Uh, I might just copy the code from the um, other game that we made, Excellent Game 1, and paste it into Excellent Game 2. So the code's going to pretty much be the same. Uh, but now we've got a problem. So these games are obviously going to be different. They'll have different levels or whatever. They could be completely different, but... I want to reuse the renderer class. So the renderer class has thousands of lines of code and we just we figured out how to draw an A really, really efficiently and fast so that it'll run on just a pocket calculator at lightning speed. Um, we don't want to rewrite out all of the rendering routines. I mean, at the moment we've only got one that draws an A, but you can imagine that there could be thousands of lines of code in here. We don't want to rewrite this. So there's a couple of ways that we can get around rewriting that. 
uh, when we come to make another game. We want to reuse the code. So the first way that you can do this, and this is a really poor way to do it. This is, yeah, this is not a good way to do it, but we'll look at this first. So the first way that you might think of, and I do this a lot, even though I know it's very poor form. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Um, you might think of just copying the code. So in Excellent Game 2, you'll add a new item, uh, and you'll call it renderer.h, just like thither, and you'll copy it from whither, and paste the code. All and paste. And then you'd have to make add a new item and renderer.cpp. And save, no reason. And you'd copy the code from your renderer.cpp file as well. All and paste. Okay, so that's fair enough. We've made our second game now. Um, at the moment, it's exactly the same as the other game, but we, we're just talking about reusing the renderer class here, so it doesn't really matter. Um, just pretend that the second game does something useful different to uh, Excellent Game 1. Otherwise, you're going to disappoint your fan base. We wouldn't have that, would we? All right, we'll give Excellent Game 2 a play. I'll put a breakpoint down here, but it should just draw an A as well. Yeah, they are. It just draws an A as well. So at the moment, our two games draw A's, but let's pretend that somewhere down the track, so maybe this is a few months later, um, you realize that there's actually a bit of a bug in your renderer class, all right? Okay. There's a bit of a bug, and your renderer class shouldn't have been drawing an uppercase A at all. What it should have been doing was a lowercase A. Okay, that's no worry. So you go to your excellent game 2 source code, and you change the renderer class to draw a lowercase A. You hit play, and hey presto, it's all good. So you upload that to the store, and everybody's happy. Uh, but you might realize that also um, your original code here in uh, Excellent Game 1 needs to be updated as well. So that's that's okay. We just uh, put a lowercase a there and fix Excellent Game 1 as well. Uh, but the trouble is that if the renderer class has thousands of lines of code, if it's a very complicated class, maybe there's a class hierarchy or, you know, really complicated uh, code in there, we don't want to have to fix these bugs over and over again. So changing this a here um, once or twice is all right when you've got five lines of code, but it's it's not okay if you've got you know ten projects that use this renderer class. Um, you're going to start to forget to change A's in some of your renderers, and uh, others will have the updated version. It's <laughs> it's a mess, folks. So don't do it like this. What do we do? Well, we want to reuse the code. We don't want to make copies of the code in each of our projects. We want to reuse the same code. So this is what you do. Uh, this is just what I do. I'll make another folder specifically for the rendering engine or specifically for the code that I want to reuse. So this is just a demonstration and I've made another folder called My Amazing Engine on the C drive. Uh, normally I wouldn't put this on the C drive. Um, I'd probably put it in the projects directory. Yeah, but you want to make it in a, in a directory that's not going to change. Um, since every time you change where this folder is on your computer, you've got to update all of the um, projects that use it. But if you can make it in a place that doesn't change the... Um, if you can make it in a folder that doesn't change, you're laughing. Okay, but what you want to do is make your header and your CPP file in this folder. So if we just go right-click and New and Text Document, I might say renderer.h and New and Text Document and renderer.cpp. Why, oh, yes, do change the uh, extension. Thank you for asking. Okay, so now I've got two more copies of the files. These are currently empty at the moment, but this is a much better way to do it. So I like also to put these into separate subdirectories, so I might just make that um, called cpp. We'll copy renderer.cpp into there, and another one called include. Uh, what we're making here is just a source code engine, yeah, so that we can reuse this source code over and over again in as many projects as we want. Anyway, I'll copy renderer.h into uh, the include folder. Okay, so now we've got three copies of renderer, which sounds pretty useless, but um, if we just copy one of them, so we'll say this this uh, the code here from uh, Excellent Game 1, we'll just copy renderer.cpp, copy the code from that, and paste it into here. Give that a save and close. And we also copy the code from renderer.h, all and copy, and paste that into renderer.h, all and paste. 
Okay, so we've got three copies of the same code, but what we can do now is delete those two files from Excellent Game 1. We can just delete them. Remove and delete. Because I made a copy of them already. Okay, remove and delete. Um, what you would normally do is, uh, if you know that your code is being built specifically to be reused, um, you wouldn't put it in a project in the first place. Um, you'd start out putting it in its own folder like we did before. Um, okay, so excellent game one just here no longer has renderer.h or renderer.cpp. So the first thing that we've got to do is um, tell Visual Studio that there's another location for headers. Um, and it's, it's, it's here, right here, in our, in our little engine, this include directory. Um, just so that C++ knows where to look. Um, so we go project and excellent game one dot properties. Well, it's not dot. Um, there's two places that you can change this. You can do it in VC++ directories, um, just here. Change uh, include directories. And the other place that you can do it is um, in the C slash C++ um, little drop down bit uh, in additional include directories. Yeah, so I might do it this way first. Um, I'll change the VC++ directories. Okay, so you come over here to include directories. All we've got to do is tell uh, Visual Studio that there's another directory that it needs to look at. Um, then you find the point where you put your uh, includes, which on, on my computer it was a C drive and my amazing engine. You just click on that folder, then click select folder, OK, and apply. OK, so what we've done is told the uh, Visual Studio where to find renderer.h and you'll notice now that renderer is uh, not underlined. Um, it's found that header. There's still a problem though. Um, draw an A wasn't specified. I mean it was uh, declared in renderer.h but it wasn't uh, defined so we should have a... Yeah, there you go. A linker error. Okay, so the next thing that you've got to do is right click on your project and add existing item. This is the trick. Existing item. Um, okay, so find your C++ file this time, renderer.cpp. There we go, so it's added it to our project. And if I hit run, we should be right as rain. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Lowercase a. So what have we done? Well, we've now got a link to renderer.cpp. This is not a copied file. Um, this renderer.cpp file just here uh, is this one in my engine directory. It's this file right here. Um, so if we wanted to edit uh, the header, we could also add it as an existing item. Yeah, add existing item and find your header. And there we go. So now we've got a copy, not, not a copy, sorry, a link of uh, the renderer.h and renderer.cpp file from our engine directory um, in our project. And whenever we update them here in uh, Visual Studio, well, the original engine files are going to be updated. Um, okay, so that's pretty good. We just hit save on that, and we come over here to Excellent Game 2. What we should do is exactly the same thing. Um, we don't want to use a copy of renderer.cpp and renderer.h. We want to use the, uh, the same files in our engine there that we made. Um, so if we just right-click and say Remove and Delete, Remove and Delete, and I might actually go backwards this time and add existing items first and then we'll do the um, header folder after. Renderer.h, add. You don't actually have to add renderer.h unless you want to uh, edit it. And renderer.cpp. Okay, so at the moment um, C++ knows about renderer.h and it doesn't know. It's, it's quite strange. I mean, renderer.h is in our project uh, because we just added it as an existing item, but the, the, the mechanism that searches for headers doesn't know where it is, so we've still got that underlined. Uh, but it's easy enough to fix, so project, excellent game two. And I might do this the other, other way around now. I'll go into um, the C, C++ little drop down. I'll go to general and additional include directories. Edits, then click your little new folder icon, the dot dot dot, and find the folder where your header is located, which is my amazing engine and include. Select folder. Okay, and apply. Okay, so we should be right as rain now in Excellent Game 2 as well. Yeah, there you go. So they're both 
uh, Excellent Game 1 and Excellent Game 2 are both rendering the um, lowercase a. So if we suppose, like just as before, that uh, we get this, this problem and we realize that actually, actually we were wrong and um, it should have been drawing an uppercase a after all, um, we can change it in Excellent Game 2. And if I hit play, there you go, it's an uppercase A, no worries. Uh, but the other interesting thing is if I come over here to Excellent Game 1, we'll see something different. If I hit play, look at that. Excellent Game 1 was updated as well. Yeah, the uppercase A. So now if we make changes to renderer.cpp or renderer.h in either of the projects, in any project that uses those two engine files, um, then those updates will be, you know, immediately manifest in, in, in every project that uses them, which is, which is perfect, really. Um, we've managed to reuse code. Uh, that's about all that I wanted to say. I hope that's helpful to people. I mean, it's not something that there's a lot of information available about. I mean, everybody says that headers are great for reusing files and, you know, use polymorphism and use class hierarchies and this, that and the other to reuse code, but when you get right down to it, reusing code is its just a matter of um, figuring out where to put code on your hard drive and uh, literally reusing it by uh, adding existing items. I hope that was helpful. Have a good one. See ya.